we like to think of ourselves as sort of the future of customized, supported employment for people with complex lives. I am the career navigator and the team lead for the Pathways to Careers program. We, we really operate on a, a set of beliefs. Instead of using an assessment or an evaluation to look at an individual who'd like to go to work, we are instead focusing on the whole person. Um, what matters to this person? What motivates them? Um, what, what are they doing when they're really smiling? And what do they need to succeed? One of the things that we see oftentimes, and this is, all, uh, this is individuals with autism as well as neurotypical individuals, would be the, the in enjoyment of looking at screens. So Angie, do you want to try having a turn? No hats, straight, so no straight eye straight. contact. Very individuals that, uh, that with autism oftentimes have much stronger skills in that particular area. Um, so we work off of so that we, is, uh, okay, as an know. area of, um, of strength. Here's what the bottles are going to look like. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and take the test. Are you ready? Yes. B. 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 A. All right, you finished, Angie. Let's take a look at how you did. Angie, you got 9 out of 10 correct for 90%. Yes. Nice job. So you were able to find the threat in 9 out of 10 questions correctly, whether it was a threat or not. So great job. You're making great progress. Thanks. So discovery is a really empowering process. We are able to give the individuals this really one-on-one um, -on -one individualized attention that they may not normally get on a daily basis. And we are always focusing on competencies. We want to know what this person can do um, and what's important to them. It's all positive. It's tonight's Eye on Education. These are students transitioning out of high school. For a year, they go through extensive background checks in order to access government websites on government computers. And their designation, trusted agents of the U.S. military. Since the inception of the program, uh, we've had somewhere around $150 million allocated back to the government uh, from the work that they're doing. So they're really saving taxpayers a lot of money? Mm -hmm. It's a program made possible by Boston-based nonprofit Work, Inc. How much do they make an hour? They make twice the minimum wage, which is around $18.63. It's pretty good. That's pretty good for a high school student yeah. going to school making money. But it's so much more. Teacher David Antonelli says it gives his students skills that will help them build a future. It's really challenging at times, and mm -hmm. I, and my brain really likes challenges. Yeah, yeah. And I really love this job. That's great. And Work Inc. is the largest employer of individuals with disabilities in eastern Massachusetts. They tell us half the students who've gone through this program have found jobs because of it. It's 100% solution oriented. The first thing I say to my employers is I'm not looking for a charity job. I'm looking to place somebody that can do the work. And I'm looking to give you an employee that's going to be valuable, it's going to stay with your company. And honestly, I, I have individuals who are dressing better and walking taller and overall their life seems to be really impacted by this positive focus on them. We all had that together like so. Success for me is um, the look on their face when you tell them I have your job starts on Monday. I mean I cannot, it's gonna make me cry, I'm not even gonna be able to the do growth, it. The growth that comes from pushing yourself to get better through getting through the difficulties. We placed um, a woman who has never worked outside in the community and she's, you know, uh, not young. She's uh, I, it's about the same age as me and she's never had a job outside the community. So jumping and the squealing and the excitement was worth every single second of the pain to get there. It takes a lot of work. It's a lot of time up front, but once you get the fit, the fit's there and they're gonna stay. Yeah, I mean, my, one of my favorite quotes is if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, right? And that's what we all want. We're here, not just here for the job, we're here for our career. We're writing the future as we speak. Just because they have a disability doesn't mean they won't be able to do it. 